those vocals y'all like that y'all think rihanna would like that i think she'll like that if you clicked on the video you know what it is we are about to rate the queen's albums we about to rate them but before we get started you already know UG smiles on everything like share subscribe share 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 like 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 shout out to everybody for checking out my videos let's go to rating rihanna's albums so if you don't know especially by my set today I am a huge, 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 huge Rihanna fan. I am a stan. I am a part of the Rihanna Navy. Me and a couple of my friends, we actually have the Buff Navy, but we are a part of Rihanna's Navy. Like, and I was a, I was, I was with Rihanna during Pawn the Replay. I ain't wait to Umbrella. I didn't wait to Loud. Nah, no, Pawn the Replay. Mr. DJ, so pawn the replay. I was there. I fell in love with her that moment. I knew she was destined to be my fave. And look now, $600 million later, Fenty, 14 number ones, 31 top tens, multiple awards, an icon. I made the right choice. Did you make the right choice? Did you? Did you? But I decided, hmm, I've been getting this itch in my palm lately. Just like, I was just like, I think R9 is coming. She's making appearances. She's going to games. She's on TV shows. She went to the BT Awards. I think R9 is coming. It's like, Rihanna hasn't done this kind of stuff in a couple years. Like, she's done little things here and there, but not on TV and not just, like, having fun. She's been, like, working. So I'm like... R9 is done. I had to go ahead and do my video. And I have been thinking about rating her album. She has eight albums. And I want to tell y'all, this was the hardest thing to do. The absolute hardest thing to do. Like, when you love all her music and you're just trying to rank them on what's the best. The shit was hard. I had to, like, call, phone a friend and ask their opinion on this and that. But we are going to do it. And hopefully y'all agree if y'all don't. Tell me what you got, whatever. So you're probably wondering, how is he going to rank these albums? I'm not ranking them based on sales and hits because I will be here all day because she has so many hits off these albums. But I wanted to rank it off of these particular things. Songwriting, production, collaborations, cohesiveness, creativity, and growth. Growth growth i wanted to see like does her fifth album sound like her first album because a lot of artists they don't really grow throughout their music so i want to throw growth in there because you know she grew we're gonna start with number eight the number eight it was a toss-up between you know the first two albums but i decided to say the number eight on rihanna's best albums which is i guess her worst but she doesn't really have a bad album is going to be a girl like me um girl like me had of course standout tracks sos her first number one hit first of 14 
and uh, Unfaithful. Those were the two big songs on the album. She also had another top 10 hit, Break Me Off. The album, to me, is not as cohesive as it should be for a second album. It really, to me, after like listening to it, I was like, this seems kind of thrown together. It does have a couple reggae songs, which was on the first album, and it seemed like they took those songs and was like, oh, we didn't use them for the first album, so we're gonna use them for the second album. That's why I'm gonna give like a girl like me at number eight, because I just feel like it wasn't cohesive. It had a lot of throwaway tracks from the first era of her music career, and the strong songs weren't strong enough to make it at least number seven. Number seven, I'm gonna go with Music of the Sun. Um, Music of the Sun was recorded when she was like 16, 15 or 16 years old. A lot of those songs were part of her original demo that what Jay-Z uh, heard and that Def Jam had. Um, it is very... It hits all the points. Like, for a debut album for a new artist that you want to kind of be pop and still have that reggae feel, it hits all, it checks all the boxes. Do you have your ballads? Do you have your dance songs? Do you have your kind of upbeat mid-tempo? Yeah, do you have stuff that people can kind of like just want to listen to? Yeah, it's very, listening to it now, you can tell that that wasn't Rihanna. That was like the label saying, oh, a girl off the island, off the left side of the island. Let's just give her these little urban, kind of urban island-ish songs that are kind of safe. Um, it does have dope stuff like Let Me, which if you haven't heard Let Me, y'all need to go listen to that. That song is fire. That's one of the best songs on the album. Let Me, um, If Loving What You Want, which was the second single that, that did pretty well. And of course, Ponder Replay, her first hit, number two hit, I mean, it, it did what it needed to do, but it definitely was not Rihanna. Now I'm gonna tell you, after the first two, after eight and seven, everything got a little muddy. Um, so I, it took a long time for me to come up with this. But the number six album on the ranking is going to be Good Girl Gone Bad. I know, I know a lot of y'all are gonna be like, what? Umbrella, what? Please don't stop the music. What? Take a bow. I know. I know, I know, I know. But looking at all her albums, this one is, I would say, the weakest only because it's very early Rihanna and she grew so much from this album. This, of course, was the first album where she kind of took a little bit more control of her career and her sound and what she wanted to do. And what, she wasn't 100% in control, but she definitely took a lot more control. They didn't want her to cut her hair. She completely cut it into the bob. Like, she had a whole new look. She was partnered up with The Dream. She had Timberland producing on the album. Justin Timberlake wrote um, Rehab, Chris Brown wrote Disturbia, like, it was fire. Like, she got hit on hit on hit on hit on hit, and she won her first Grammy. Um, I Creatively, I think it's a very good album. There are a, full, a few songs that I probably don't ever have to listen to again. <clears throat> Shut Up and Drive. But, you know, there's not, like, I can still listen to it. I just wouldn't, like, click on it and be like, ooh, I'm listening to Shut Up and Drive today. Uh, but, like, she has standout tracks, of course, Umbrella. Uh, Don't Stop the Music, which were, you know, hits on the charts. And then songs like Say It, Say It. If y'all haven't heard Say It, I'm gonna have to give a, like, put a link up. Like, Say It is one of my favorite songs on there. And then, of course, they had the re-release with Disturbia, Take A Bow, and If I Ever See Your Face Again, which, with, with Maroon 5. And if that song came out today, that would be a hit. Like, Good Girl Gone Bad is a groundbreaking album for Rihanna, but yes, it is going to be at number six. It gets harder from here, y'all. Don't get mad at me, it gets harder from here. So we're gonna go to number five is going to be Talk That Talk. I ain't gonna lie, Talk That Talk is one of my favorite Rihanna albums. Like, she really got, she really got to the ratchet. She really gave us the ratchet we're here. Like, this is what we were introduced to the ratchet, Rihanna. Like, you got cockiness, you got birthday cake, which I'm still mad it's a minute and 30 second minute. 
a minute and 18 seconds but that minute and 18 seconds got downloaded over a million times and went platinum it went platinum without the remix what's up who can you do that can your fave do that can your fave do that <laughs> nope they can't but uh, we we also got the the dance hits we found love which is actually the one of the top 10 songs of the decade we got uh, where have you been like she had a lot of bops on this album she had a lot of bops and then she had a few kind of filler songs like rock me out was one of the songs that I it's not horrible but it's like y'all could have left this out and that's one of the reasons why it is where it's at on the list. But it's one of my favorite albums because we got introduced to Ratchet, Rihanna. All right, my number four album is going to be Loud. Oh, where is it at? Right here. Hey, Loud. Hey, Loud. Loud. Loud was that bitch. Loud is that bitch still loud with something um that's what we got really introduced to hit maker rihanna like rihanna has had hits since her first album but loud was it i mean we got what's my name we got a uh, only girl in the world we got cheers we got man down we got california king bed like raining man like fading complicated like we every song on that album was a hit like every song could have been a single and you're probably like well if that's the case you might it's been her because the though the songs could have been single i think the songs could have been some of the songs could have been stronger some of them um even though rihanna does have she has a thing about her that i can't really see other people singing the songs this album really seemed like they were just trying to make hits and not trying to be super creative it just really was like we just gonna hit y'all over the head and that's exactly what they hit us over the head with like we had three number ones snm only girl in the world and what's my name and then additional cheers being top 10 like it creatively i feel like it wasn't where it could have been but they did everything they could to make us have bops and that's exactly what it did Number three, we're getting down to nitty gritty. Number three is going to be rated R. Y'all, there will be not be any rated R slander in the comments. Real Rihanna fans know what rated R is about. Do you not know that the, the Rihanna Navy was birthed during rated R? G4L birthed the Navy. If you don't know that, you not in the Navy. You gotta go back. You gotta go back to cadet school because you're not ready. You only, you ain't even know that. Y'all gotta know like G4L birthed the Navy. That's where we were born. That's where we got our name. This album, of course, was after the whole Chris Brown situation. So Rihanna was like in a darker space and it really showed in her music. It was pretty much a, a slow paced album, but the songwriting was amazing. She worked with Will I Am. Um, on a beautiful song called Photographs. Fucking, but my number one song on this album is Cold Case Love. If y'all have not heard Cold Case Love, y'all will probably slap Rihanna for not making it a single because Cold Case Love is so good. She did perform it at the Diamonds World Tour, which I'm glad, but Cold Case Love deserves a video like, on my roof. It is my shit. And this is one of her best albums. I feel like it was super underrated and that if somebody else was like if Adele or Lauren Hill or just somebody else that they took a little bit more serious, cause you know, they, they didn't take Rihanna serious as an artist. They thought she was just a little pop girl or whatever. But if they had somebody else that took it a little bit, like they took more serious, sang the same album, it would have won Grammys, it would have won Crazy Awards, it would have sold a lot more records. But they did Rihanna dirty. And she also gave us Root Boy on there. She gave us a little Root Boy boy just a little bit. In the in the midst of the of the sad songs. She gave us a little Root Boy. So I had to put Rated R High on this list. Number two. Unapologetic. Unapologetic is my number two album. Uh, this is an album that I revisit a lot. Unapologetic has... It has pretty much the best everything 
the best of everything Rihanna has done is like on Rated R. You have your ballads like Diamonds. You have Fresh Off The Run where you have your Ratchet stuff. You have your collaboration with Eminem, Numb, which is one of my favorite songs. You have her talking shit like Jump, like Jump, Jump. The Genuine Pony sample, Jump is my shit. Like, she killed it. You, What Now is another ballad that that was ended up being a single um right now which some people don't like i mean i could skip right now but it was a dance song you know she really had a lot of dance songs on talk that talk i feel like they just wanted to throw something else in there on there um but right now and then get it over with the the navy knows get it over with y'all that is my shit who who um who song is that who wrote that Dre's Front Leroy. That's what I said. <laughs> no, James Font Leroy, who also did James Joint. But, like, that is my song. And, like, she really pushed her vocals a lot more. On Talk That Talk, she, she sung a little bit more. But on here, I think she just tried a lot of different things. It's really... It comes in number two because it's really just a greatest hits of sounds and collaborations and everything from previous Rihanna's to now. The number one, I mean, of course, if you're following, you know what the number one album is. Rihanna's best album to date, Anti. Anti is very, very special to us. This was the first album that we had to wait on like really wait on when rihanna started taking off she i mean she gave us a rated r she gave us loud she gave us talk that talk she gave us unapologetic it was like back to back every november we knew we were getting a rihanna album and then it was nothing it was crickets we were like where's where where's the rihanna album at like we had to wait we got like three songs that we thought were singles from the album which probably originally were but they weren't i mean two out of the three were hit songs so she just changed direction bitch better have my money and um four or five seconds did amazing on the charts so a lot of records bitch better have my money was should have won video of the year but y'all bitches was hating. Y'all didn't. Either, y'all either didn't nominate or didn't give it to her. It should have won video of the year everywhere. But that's another conversation. But anti like was also an album that had a lot of uh, setbacks with the release. There was rumors about release dates, and but they never were confirmed. And then when it was finally coming out, it kind of leaked. And then it was just a big old mess. And what's so funny is about Anti, on first listen, the the average person that listens to Rihanna was probably like, what the fuck is this? Like, what the hell is this? Like, it was a totally different sound. And that's another reason why it's number one on my list. I feel like creatively, Rihanna went a whole different direction. If you listen to the radio now, you notice a lot of people sound alike, especially the rappers. They all mumble rappers. They all mumbling and jumbling. I don't know what the fuck they talking about. Like, Rihanna, I don't know if she didn't listen to the radio or maybe she listened to the radio and said, you know what? I'm not gonna do that. We're gonna do this. Like, she went a whole different route when it came to anti and it paid off upon first reviews everybody was like this doesn't have any hits it doesn't have any good songs but work she come out having three top 10 hits three hmm. one of them was number one for nine weeks work then we had uh her longest charting song needed me hello peaked at number seven and then love on a brain without a video was top five and that's not even the best songs like she gave us james joint which i'm still mad that that's like a damn snippet or interlude rihanna can you give us like longer songs like don't do that the best songs be the shortest song and i think you're doing it on purpose and i'm upset about it i'm upset she gave us woo she gave like same old mistakes which is a cover song is one of my songs like you literally get lost in that song it is a uh, fucking amazing and then you get the deluxe you got sex with me on there sex with me oh na 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 five fingers on it like she really 
did the unexpected with this album. She took her time with it, gave us sound, gave us brand new sounds that we weren't used to her her doing, and also gave us something that we did not hear on the radio. And guess what, guys? It is still on the charts. 2016 to now, it's still on the charts. Longevity. Does your faith have it? I think not. <laughs> Did I get it right? Did I rank Rihanna's albums right? Make sure you guys leave a comment below, like, share, and subscribe. I think I'm gonna do a video about her eras. You know, she has a lot of style eras, and I think I'm gonna do a video. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for checking out my video, guys. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe, and click a link for some more content.